In this problem, we're told a 3 kilogram object has the following two forces acting on it. F sub 1, which is 16i plus 12j newtons, and then F sub 2 is minus 10i plus 22j newtons. If the object is initially at rest, determine its velocity v at t equals 3 seconds. So I think we should start off by writing the given. So what are we told? So we know that the mass of our object is going to be 3 kilograms, right? Because kilograms is mass. So we know 3 kilograms is m, our mass. We also know the object is going to be starting at rest. So something at rest, we just call that the initial velocity is going to be zero because it's not moving, right? So zero meters per second. And then we also know the amount of time, right? So it says determine its velocity at three seconds, right? So it's going to go, time is going to be three seconds. What don't we know though? So we don't know, uh, we don't know the acceleration of the object. So I'm going to say a equals question mark. And then we're trying to solve for v, right? So v, we don't know either. So I'm going to say v equals question mark. So if we want to solve for v, what we need to do is solve for a first. So keep in mind that v is going to be a vector. So we need to find the horizontal and vertical components. So we need to find the acceleration of vertical and horizontal components, right? Because the velocity or v sub 0 and t don't really matter in terms of their directions because they're both 0. So what we need to do is solve for a, but we need to find a sub x and a sub y. So essentially the acceleration in the x direction and the acceleration in the y direction. So how are we going to do that? So what we need to do is, well, notice you can solve for acceleration by doing force equals mass times acceleration, right? If we divide both sides by m, essentially acceleration equals force divided by mass. So notice how we're given a mass, right, 3 kilograms, and we're given these forces. And so what we're going to do is solve for the acceleration in the y direction and in the x direction. So Let's draw a free body diagram what's going on here. So we have a bunch of forces acting on it. So force one is going to be 16i plus 12j. So i just means in this direction, right? In our horizontal, j just means up and down. And then the negative and the positive just indicates the direction. So essentially, we're going to have this 16i going this way, right? Because it's positive, so it goes to the right. And it's i, so it's horizontal, plus 12j. So then we have 12j going up. What else do we got? We have minus 10i, so something going this way, minus 10i, and then we have another one going upwards, 22j. So these are essentially all our forces. What I'm going to do is just combine them. So, right, because if we just add the forces, 12j plus 22j is going to be 34j going upwards. And then notice how this one's minus 10 in this direction, this one's 16. If we do uh, 16 minus 10, it's going to be 6, right? It's just going to be 6 in this direction right because the 10 on this side and the 10 can or cancels this side so this is essentially going to be our new object right and so this is going to be the force in the x direction and the force in the y direction so remember how i said force equals mass or acceleration equals force over mass so in the x direction it's going to be equal to f sub x over m in this direction it's going to be f sub y over m right so what's f sub x well it's just going to be the force acting in the x direction which we know is 6i so it's just 6, essentially. So a sub x equals 6 over our mass. And so our mass is 3. So divided by 3, your acceleration is going to be 2. And then keep in mind our units. This is in newtons. And then this is in kg, so it's going to be meters per second squared. And then if we do it in the y direction, a sub y, what's our acceleration, or what's our force in the y direction? It's going to be 34, right? So 34 over 3 again. It's going to be 11.33 meters per second squared, right? So now we've got a sub x and a sub y. And so what we can do is find uh, v sub x and v sub y, right? Uh, the or the horizontal and vertical components of our velocity, right? What we're trying to solve for. And so what we're going to do is combine them, but first we need to solve for v sub x and v sub y, right? And so you're going to use one of the kinematic equations, uh, v sub x equals v sub 0 x plus a sub x times t, right? So this is what we're going to use. And so and we're going to do it in both directions, right? So also v sub y plus v sub 0 y plus a sub y times t, right? So let's start with v sub x. So it's going to be equal to v sub, a, v sub 0 x is just 0, right? They're the same for both. So, right? Because if it's not moving, it's not moving either up or down. So just keep thinking about that. So 0 plus uh, the acceleration in the y direction we know is 2 times 3, which is the time, right? 3 seconds. So it's just going to be equal to 6, right? So 6. And then let's do y. So v sub 0y is also 0. 
plus a sub y, which is 11.33 times 3. If you go ahead and do this, it's going to be equal to 34. And this kind of just worked out right because these are just the same numbers as this. It's just because our this is 3 and the time is 3, so it just cancels out that way. But essentially, if we draw this like a triangle, right? Imagine it's like a vector, right? So this is our vector. And then we have the horizontal and vertical components. So 34 is going to be this one. So you could label it as 34J. This one can be 6I. So if you want to just write it in like the more spread out form like this, like the vector form, you can write it like this, but I'm pretty sure they want you to combine it. So what we're going to do is actually solve for this part, right, by using Pythagorean theorem. So if this is 6 and this is 34, we know Pythagorean tells us a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So imagine this is c, a, and b. If we just square root this, so c is going to be equal to the square root of a squared plus b squared. So essentially we're just going to do the square root of a, which is 6 squared plus 34 squared. So if you go ahead and do this, 6 squared plus 34 squared, you're going to get that c, or v in this case, right, our velocity vector, what they're asking us for, right, is going to be equal to 34.5. And then, or about about this, you're gonna have to round to get this, but 34.5, and then our units are meters per second, right? And so this right here is gonna be your answer, and so hopefully you found this useful.